Welcome to Mamu Math. Today we are going to look at how to solve a quadratic inequality. Okay, we're going to start off with our inequalities in relation to zero. So if it's not in relation to zero, it's actually easier to get them set equal to in relation to zero and then compare. So this one's actually already factored. So I already have my factors x minus 2 and x minus 4 is greater than zero. So I've got to find out when I, where, where what the region is where I multiply these together and I get a value greater than zero. Well, this is what you start off doing. You start off thinking, well, let's just think of it as equal to zero. So think of it as an equation first. And let's get our critical points. And our critical points are where x minus 2 equals zero, which is where x is 2 and where x minus 4 equals 0, and that's where x is 4. So first I solve the quadratic, okay? The next thing I do is I draw myself a number line, and I plot a 2 and a 4, my two solutions on the number line. Now, I've got to test my regions here and see which one of these work in this inequality. Okay, now with inequalities, remember when you have a greater than or less than symbol, we have an open circle at these points because these points are not included in our solution. If it, if it was less than or greater than or equal to, we would shade them in, but this one's just greater than. Okay, now I'm going to test a point, and you could test a point on the left, the center, or the right, so we have three regions to test. I typically pick one in between. So let's see, the only nice number in between is three, so let's test a three. Okay, three minus two and three minus four. When I take the product of these two, is that greater than zero? Let's see, that's one times negative one. Is that greater than zero, negative one greater than zero? No. Okay, so that means this region is not shaded. That means I'm going to shade the other two regions. I'm going to shade on the outside. So you're either going to shade in between or on the outside. Now, why would that be? Well, remember, we, this is a quadratic. So you've got a parabola, okay? So I'm just drawing it now in two dimensions instead of one dimension. Okay, so here's our here are our solutions. And you're either going to shade inside the parabola or outside the parabola. And this one's on the outside. So let's look at one more of these, okay? This one will go through a little bit quicker, but this one's already factored. So our solutions are x minus 3 is 0, so x is 3. And 3x plus 4 equals 0, so x is, uh, let's see, minus 4 divided by 3, negative 4 thirds. So our number line, let's see, draw our number line over here. And we have a 0 here, a negative 4 thirds to the left of it, and a positive three to the right. Okay, I've got open circles because it's just greater than. Now let's test a point. Well, the nice point in the middle to test would probably be zero. Zero is nice and easy. So zero minus three times three times zero plus four. Is that greater than zero? So you got negative three times four is negative 12. Is negative 12 greater than zero? No, so I'm not shading in between. Again, I'm shading on the outside of these two. And so my quadratic would go like this and I'd be shading out, okay? Now the extra steps here would be maybe you need to factor it. So like here's one that you have to factor. X squared minus 16, when is that less than or equal to zero? We'll factor that as X minus four, X plus four, and compare that to zero. So the solutions are positive four and negative four. So let's draw our number line. Here's zero, one, two, three, four is here. One, two, three, four, negative four is here. Okay, these two this time are closed circles because it's less than or equal to. And now let's test a point. Again, zero is between it, so zero is a nice one to test. So let's plug in zero, squared minus 16, is that less than or equal to zero? Negative 16, is that less than zero? Yes, that one works. So that means where is zero, the point I tested worked, that must be the my shaded region. So it's everything between negative four and positive four. Now the last thing I need to show you is just how to write your answer. Okay, these are gonna be written with inequalities. So from negative four is less than x is less than four, and since these are also less than or equal to, I'm going to add those signs. So this one is going to be written as negative 4 is less than x is less than 4. 
Let's go back up here and look at this one. Okay, this one has two parts, so you can have two inequalities. This side is written as all the x is less than negative 4 thirds, or all the x's that are this side would be greater than 3. Okay, and the last one, let's go back to the very first problem. How do you write these? That's with two inequalities. This first one would be all the x's that are less than 2, or all the x's on this side would be greater than positive 4. And that's how you write your final answers. Hope this video was helpful.